Hey everybody, it's Cameron Shells. Uh, I'm doing another speed draw here. Uh, I actually did this a little while ago, uh, but then I got caught up doing daily draws for October. To uh, and uh, wasn't able to uh, to voice over this. Um, I was thinking about doing another silly voice because that's what I did last time, and I got plenty of silly voices. But uh, I've been procrastinating on on this uh, too long. And so I'm just gonna go and uh, commentate on whatever this is. It's a turtle, as you can see. More accurately, a tortoise. I'm just sketching in the little guy here. I used a reference that I just randomly got from Google, uh, Googling tortoise tortoises. Um, man, I love turtles. They're so good. I have several other images of tortoise eye that's not a verb or a word, uh, in my open tabs in, uh, in Firefox, and, and I may draw them eventually too, but uh, I actually just finished another drawing today that I recorded that I'll, I'll post another time later. But for now, we're doing this turtle. I'm putting in the, the inks here. I've been trying to uh, do inks with... Um, with uh, vector layers, as you can see, I can kind of change the the lines a little bit if I if I go in and, and change the different points on them. Uh, it helps if I have a pretty good line, but it's not good enough. I can just tweak it a little, and then it's good enough. Rotating the canvas a bit. Uh, I do that a little bit later on as well for other details. Is he done? He's done. Well, the line work is done. And now I'm just uh, doodling in some background foliage. Doing some fun little hatching. I like doing hatching, it's so fun and, and uh, calming to do hatching like that. Getting in them old man turtle turtle skin neck. The real leathery boy. the fun part, where I meticulously detail his shell. That sounded sarcastic, but it was pretty fun to do. Getting all these little lines in here. I forget what happened there. I think I drew them on the wrong layer or something and re had to redo those last few. Hope you're enjoying just watching these little lines fill in as much as I am. And then kind of erasing between the lines to make it a little bit more even. Oh, and then scales are fun to do. They're especially fun to color. Not really. It's, just, it's kind of a pain in the ass to color. But um, we'll get to that. But it looks good. I think it looks good. I really like the scales, how they came out. Got some flares, doing some flats. Putting some flat colors in. Doing the boy a little shine to his eyes. I like that grass, that grass brush. I think that's um, default in Clip Studio. I just recently moved to Clip Studio from Photoshop and 
now I've been drawing in it basically all of October and I, I opened up Photoshop the other day and I was just like what is this program I don't even recognize it anymore I'm so used to Clip Studio uh, the brush the the gra bra bleh, the grass brush is pretty fun though it, it uh it's pretty simple but it gets a good feel for grass I've since downloaded some other grass brushes and tooled around with them a little bit I don't think I have anything recorded of it but um, yeah, little tools are, are fun to use. Getting some moss in that hog. Time for the leaves. Occasionally, a little symbol pops up in the middle. I've since fixed it, but uh, uh, I have a Japanese IME on my computer, and Clip Studio would just like default to it anytime I tried to enter uh, text into a layer, no matter what I did. What I did, I finally realized there's a setting in the options to undo that. But uh, it's all the way through in this video. Doing some shading with an acrylic gauche. Gauche? I don't really know how to pronounce that. I'm not French. I assume it's French. It looks... Who knows? Languages, huh? Not even finished. Putting in my signature. Because I tend to forget to put my signature in. So uh, sometimes I just put it in the middle of the piece. Once is like when it comes across my mind. Shading work on the turtle. The tortoise. The turtle is also correct, but technically a tortoise. You talk like this, I guess, because it's a turtle. Oh, is it time? Oh yeah. I still don't fully know what all the all the uh, layer applications there do, but I was tooling around with them to see what helped with the shading so I start I start uh, <laughs> I start manually just doodle drawing in uh, the circles for the scales and I end up regretting that deeply because I'm figuring it out on the head I'll come back to it I'll stop in a second but um yeah as you can see you can see here I uh, went had to go back and clean up all the all the scales, I actually cut out a little bit of it because it just even sped up. It kind of went on a while. Uh, I did leave some in just to kind of get a feel of, of how it went. But... And then I realized, oh hey, I can just kind of like fill in most of them with with the wand and and uh, yeah, just a single brush stroke and then fill in a couple of strays. Much, much easier. Much quicker. Still have to do a little tidy, tidying, but uh, not too bad. Back legs. You're working on his, his face scales. They were a little different. Trying to give him a little shine. there. I'm not sure what that was. Oh yeah, uh, I was drawing this uh, actually in between calls at work uh, and uh, I complete I, I got off a call and just started drawing again. Completely forgot to unpause the recording. So here some of the shell is already done, but uh, finish up the fringes and then I work on the main uh, What do you What do you call that? Are there different, like words for the different parts of the shell, or is it just all the shell, I wonder? Just doing each one individually, selecting each one that's kind of like a 
a different part so I don't accidentally bleed over on the edges. Do the middle one. Doing the top ones. And then we're done. It's the turtle. Look at him. He's so cute. Wow. Good job, me, I guess. Uh, hey, if you like this video, uh, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more. I just recorded another one today. Hopefully I can comment on it soon. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.